Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Superintendent Doc Irvin, and as you know, one of my most favorite things to do is visit classrooms. And today, I'm at San Andreas High School, so let's see what I'm learning today. Doc Urban, how are you? Pretty good. Hello, David Paniagua. Doc Urban. Jasmine. Doc Urban, how are you, Jasmine? Good. All right. So, what am I learning today? What is the uh, what is the treat I'm getting today? Um, this is our seeding tray. We plant all our plants, but we gloves. We need to put gloves on before we do our seeding. Okay. Our seeding tray. These are the seeds we are gonna be seeding today, and these are the tweezers we use to put the seeds in. And uh, right now we're using Oasis cubes. Okay. It's all biodegradable, so it's environmentally friendly. And we're, we're using 90% less water. And uh, behind you is a tower garden, mm -hmm. a hydroponic system that grows without <laughs> soil. Now, basically the, what this will look, what, what will look like before, this will, what will look like after. In, okay. the basically, yeah, basically what will look like in six weeks. Okay. Um, I just have a question, so it takes six weeks. Yes. From that to that. Yes. Okay, got it. So it's for it to grow. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Now, since we already washed our hands, we can just put our gloves on and then we can get to work. Today we'll be uh, seeding marigolds. Yes. All right. All right, since we got our gloves on, we can take our marigold seeds and then we could put in, we can put in two to three seeds and we'll put them in each, watt, each of these holes. Okay. Now, would you like to give it a try? Yep. So I'll just grab a couple. Yeah, put them in. Yes. And then. Yeah, very carefully because they tend to bounce off sometimes. Yeah. Um, um, but we don't exactly have to put in all of them in because we have like 162 of these. Okay, uh, so, so I'll put one more, more just to. Yeah. Just to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Man. So yeah. Um, after two. Uh, so yeah, well, after we put all the seeds in, we we let them grow in the in the nursery for two weeks. Okay. And after two weeks, they will look exactly like this. Okay. So this process right here is the beginning of transplanting. We would get this. Now, could you please part these? Okay. It's a single cubes. All right. Okay. I got four of them here. Mm -hmm. So you want to so, place the extra right there. So I'm putting how many of them? Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, so this is just an example. We would put it on a stub right here. Uh huh. Okay, just insert it. Right Do so, I take this out or do I put it in? Um, just put it in, please. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. What we usually do. Okay. Um, yeah. You want me to put another one or just one? If you want. If you want, you can I think put we'll do another one since I'm already here. Just you can to put make it sure. all of them if you want. I just, want to be a, I just want to make sure I'm an expert. All right, I'll do another one. Put 162 of these. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, after six weeks, they will look like, like this. this. And I can plant it in my garden at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. The, um, well, fan of flowers? Well, I am a fan of flowers, and I would say that is an outstanding, quick lesson. And uh, I hope that I can come back and do that again. Matter of fact, from the beginning. Now, one last question before we go. Mm -hmm. Have you guys had a chance to work with an elementary school student to show them this process? Yes, yes. we have. We yeah, taught, them, we taught them how to, yeah, we yeah. taught them how to grow their own plants. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, then you guys did a great job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys did an outstanding job. <laughs>